How do you use private browsing on the iPad? I have no idea, it's so stupid. Okay, there are no private browsing buttons on here. You would think there would be, because these are supposed to be so easy to use, right? But nope, not a single button on here. How do you do it? Okay, we'll get ready to go through some hoops. First, you have to exit the browser, then go into settings, and then find the Safari section, which is down here. And then you have to look for private browsing, which is right here. Turn it on. Okay, do you want to keep your existing tabs? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, we're not done yet. We have to exit. Go back into the browser. Okay, now we're private browsing. Jeez. All right, how do you do it on Android? It's a lot simpler. Just go to the side, go to new tabs, and then open up a private browsing tab. You're done. Let's see, we want to go back. Okay, I'm done checking my email on my friend's iPod, and I want to close this window out. How do you do it? Well, it's a real pain in the ass. Okay, first you have to quit the browser, and then go back into Safari. Oops, no, no, oh, it's so complicated. Okay, quit the browser, go into settings, and then turn off private browsing. Okay, uh, yeah, I think I want to do that. And quit this, open up the browser again. Okay, we're back to normal. Let's see how we do this on Android. Okay, it's a lot simpler. Just go to the side. Go to the tabs. This is your private browsing tab. Just swipe it away and you're done. Back to normal. Easy peasy.